my world uh, welcome back to my channel my name's Paul um, I'm on this boat in the Kerala Alapura or Alapi the locals call it on the river this boat's two hours one way two hours back so it's gonna be a long day but takes us up into the backwaters and this isn't like a tourist boat this is like a bus taking people up the river so I'm excited but I'm waffling so I'll put the camera down I'll get it out when we're moving I think we go in about half an hour wait mate okay now and we're moving this is my seat mate Guillaume Guillaume and um, we're heading up the river it will be two hours in this direction then it turns around and two hours back so exciting and just even at this speed that breeze coming off the river is lovely and cooling and now we're leaving the, the river by the looks into the backwater just beautiful guys like sheds here little buildings there the bus stops or the ferry stops this is the third one we've stopped at in about 15 minutes and this is the terminal for the houseboats guys it's um this is another very popular way to do it some luxury houseboats it's kind of long hull on bay depending what you pay is what luxury you get but yeah that's a very very popular way to see the backwater of my little travel companions, Airy. Hello. Hello. And oh, sorry, I forgot your Afsil, name. Afsil. 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 Yes. And his wife over here, but she doesn't look like she wants to be <laughs> on she's film. She's living the daughter, that's that's <laughs> <laughs> So hey. So it's about two dollars US one way. That's two, that's two hours each way. <laughs> and, um, I've got to buy another ticket to get back. <laughs> Guys, this is what a way to spend the day. Everyone's so friendly. We're stopping a lot, another little bus stop here. This is number four, I think, for the day. For the, and we've only been out, not even half an hour, I don't think. But guys, look at this. Look what we're doing. And there's Eri again. She thought my eyes were contacts. She's telling the dad, why is he wearing contacts? Because I've got blue eyes. Yeah, so the backwater consists of all these little strips of land over here just with people living it's just one house the width and the whole world revolves around the river there's area again like all girls loving the camera and there's more oh no they're rice paddies over there that's not more water this is worth doing guys and like i said there's that many different ways you can go there's those luxury boats there that you can hire as, as a group you don't have to share with anyone or there's or these ones here you can hire them as a group they got real comfy seats and they go where you want pretty much and you just spend the day heading up through the Kerala backwater hey guys, so where all these people are living is man-made because if you look at the rice paddies there they're lower than this water so I think all these walls are built to hold the water out so they can control the water into the rice paddies and people are just living along here the farmers really quite ingenious really and it's I, i'm guessing it's it's quite old this setup ah and there's a water pump here this must be oh, i wonder if that's to keep that side dry or to pump the water over to that side for the rice paddies um, I'll show you in a minute, but it's really windy. Um, this is the main lake. This is what all the backwaters feed off. And, um, I'm going to show you, but it's very windy, so all you'll hear is wind noise, I think. Yeah, all my fellow passengers are getting a bit bored with my engineering conversations but this is really quite brilliant guys there's a few little waterlogged places here but the rest of it's dry enough to burn and we must be at least the water must be at least a meter and a half higher than the paddy fields really really quite brilliant it's 
not a small amount of water that these walls are holding back. All this water is at least a metre, metre and a half higher than the surrounding paddy fields. It's amazing guys, I hope I'm not boring you with this, but it's really intrigued me. But my regulars know how architecture and engineering is something that excites me a bit. And here, they're reinforcing the walls. They're taking water out of the bottom, but a fair way out from the bottom, maybe 30 or 40 metres from the wall and then they're reinforcing behind the wall with so they're dredging but rather than have their engine working and using diesel they're just having people pull them in and out really quite ingenious guys i'm impressed i was just wondering if i could get off the boat and um get back on when it's on its way back and just as I was thinking that, the guy came up and said, look, you can get off here if you want and do 40 minutes. So we're going to go and get something to eat. We've got 40 minutes till there's the ferry just leaving up there. And we've got 40 minutes to go. That really was a fun afternoon. I'm glad it's over, four hours sitting on a little boat, but I'm glad I did it as well, guys. That really was fun. And it cost maybe... Ooh. 250 rupee, 240 rupee, which is about maybe $4.50 Australian, so about maybe $3 US. Beach, pretty famous Alapura, Alapura Beach or Alapit, the locals call it. You're gonna get sick of me saying that, but um, I'm wearing motorbike boots, motocross boots, and um, it's a bit hard walking in this sand, but let's head down there anyway. I'm surprised. Look at this, guys, southern. Indian beaches are really quite beautiful. Nice white sand, clean, amazing. I don't know what's in this big tent here. Seems to be a lot of noise coming out of there. But this is the Alapura Beach. Oh guys, there's something important in here. I'm not sure what it is because it's all written in Hindi. But I'm going to head up the beach a bit further, have a bit of a look. Some new friends admiring my bike. Well, they've got a memorial of this ship on the beach here. All the little restaurants and things here. Um, yeah, this was built here in 1999. It was used to surveil the coast and to drop commandos off on beach raids because it's got such a shallow draft it could get in very close. To me it looks like Mikhail's Navy ship. Yeah, I suppose there's a lot of you out there that aren't even old enough to know what Mikhail's Navy is. the sea view park i got here a bit late today but they've got a zip line here goes to the other side of the river they got this trolley thing um, i think the zip line takes you there and the trolley brings you back maybe but i'm a bit late in the day i might come back in the morning before i head off have a go just down the road here there's the chiller cafe which is a really pot full of young people um, chiller art cafe really quite impressive and it's just straight across if you're looking for it there's the the ship i was showing you before i'm starving really really hungry so i'm having i came back to the same restaurant i was in in the last video it was so good there here and this time i'm having the mixed tandoori platter i'm so hungry i wish they'd hurry but the longer it takes the better it is um, look at this guys smoky delicious just perfect.
Well, that really was a fun day out, getting up the backwater. That engineering of those, I don't know what you'd call them, the canals, I guess. Incredible. Really, really impressive. Now, I've got plenty of footage to make a video. So guys, if you haven't subscribed yet, hit that mad dog icon up there or the subscribe button down below. May as well hit that bell icon while you're down there. I always try and respond to your comments. So leave a comment, give me a big thumbs up, share this video everywhere you can. We'll see you in the next one.